Here we are again with That's English, the best English course of all time. Don't exaggerate. Pardon? Que no exageres. Hay que hacerse propaganda, Sara. Además, mi hobby secreto es exagerar. Y como el documental de hoy va sobre hobbies... True. Since we're talking about health, today we're going to watch a documentary about improving the quality of your life through hobbies. Hobbies help you to relax. Uno de los hobbies británicos es la jardinería. Gardening. Jardinería. Gardening. Yes, they like growing things. To grow, cultivar o crecer. Recordad, to grow, cultivar o crecer. And they also like fencing. Oh. Esgrima. Fencing. Do they really like fencing? Yes, they find it relaxing. Lo encuentran relajante. Relajante, relaxing. Doing ceramics, it's also relaxing. Ceramics significa cerámica. Y la alfarería es pottery. En inglés, alfarería, pottery. Los británicos son grandes amateurs. Amateur es aficionado. También lo decimos nosotros, amateur. Those were some of the new words in today's documentary. And these are the questions you have to answer. Las preguntas que tendréis que contestar después de ver el documental son What is Great Britain's number one hobby? ¿Cuál es el hobby número uno de los británicos? Why does Mr. Spencer think gardening is so popular in Great Britain? ¿Por qué cree el señor Spencer que la jardinería es tan popular en Gran Bretaña? And which of the following courses are mentioned in the documentary? Ceramics, cerámica, Fencing, esgrima, modern languages, lenguas modernas, music, música, painting, pintura, and pottery, alfarería. Did you take good notice of the questions? Then let's go to our out and about. <laughs> In a list of hobbies in Great Britain, gardening is number one. In big towns, there are important gardening fairs where you can buy all kinds of plants and tools. The British love low houses with a small garden at the back. Here, they can practice their favorite hobby. This is Mr. Spencer. He is the headmaster of a state school, but his great interest is gardening. He told us why gardening is the British favorite hobby. I think everyone finds plants easy to grow in Great Britain. We have plenty of rain and so Things grow well, and because people find it easy, it makes it popular. While he looked after his plants, Mr. Spencer told us why he finds gardening so relaxing. It's very good to come home in the evening and do something different from my day job. I'm a headmaster, and so in the evening it's good to work with my hands rather than with my head. Another healthy habit in the United Kingdom is taking courses. They can be correspondence courses or courses taken at centres like Morley College. Many of the courses offered by Morley College as this fencing class are for entertainment. That's what the principal said when we asked him to tell us about the courses. The college offers a lot of courses, courses of a non-vocational nature, so people can come to the college to study ceramics, music, 
of to play music because they are interested in that. This is the ceramics room. At the college, there are people of all ages and social classes, as the principal explained. Students come to the college from the age of 18, and the top age is any age. The oldest student is 93 years old. The students are from all walks of life and come from all parts of London, from members of the House of Lords to unemployed local people living around the college. The music lesson is really interesting. This is one of the reasons why people come to Morley College, but the principal gave us other reasons. I think people come to the college for a lot of reasons. Some call, come because it's an opportunity for them to meet other people and form a sort of social club where they can spend their time uh, in their retirement or spend the time me making new friends. Some others come because they want to learn a skill or they want to learn to play music or to do pottery. Yet others come because they want to pick up a skill that they could not do when they were younger or at school. Did you enjoy the documentary on British hobbies? Don't worry if you didn't understand everything. As we always say, what, what really matters, matters is that you get used to listening to English. Well done. <laughs> the answer to the first question, what is Great Britain's number one hobby is? In a list of hobbies in Great Britain, gardening is number one. Gardening. The answer is gardening. The next question was, why does Mr. Spencer think gardening is so popular in Great Britain? I think everyone finds plants easy to grow in Great Britain. The answer is, it's easy to grow plants. And the last question was, which of the following courses are mentioned in the documentary? Ceramics, fencing, modern languages, music, painting and pottery. People can come to the college to study ceramics, fencing, to play music, or to do pottery. In the documentary you could hear ceramics, fencing, music, and pottery. Those were the answers. Now let's go on to a very healthy sketch. In the sketch de hoy, veréis que intuición tiene Sara para la medicina. Yes, today's sketch is about alternative medicine, aromatherapy, Chinese medicine, magia negra, black magic, no? <laughs> <laughs> magia negra, no? Don't pull my leg. <laughs> Let's see. I'd like, um... Let me guess. You're tired. Oh. Very tired. Yes, I only slept four hours last mm. night. I've got a lot of work. You're ill. Hmm? Have a look. Well, yes. <laughs> Perhaps it's stress, you know. Perhaps it's stress. Perhaps it's work. Do you do any exercise? Oh, yes. I walk to my car every morning. 
that's not enough. Do you eat healthy food? Uh, well, <clears throat> no, I don't. <laughs> I eat uh, fish and chips, hamburgers, mm. pizzas, you know. And cola. Mm. That's bad for you. Do you smoke? Well, <laughs> yes, I do. You're seriously ill. Oh, I went to the doctor last week because I had a headache, but he just gave me some aspirins. <laughs> I don't believe in Western medicine. Oh, he's, he's a good doctor. Very expensive, you know. What do you think of alternative medicine? I think it's awful. Have you tried aromatherapy? No, I haven't. Have you tried Chinese medicine? Have you tried acupuncture? No, I haven't. And I don't want to. It hurts, doesn't it? No, it doesn't hurt at all. That'll be 30 pounds. What? Oh, uh, yes, um... Uh, uh, what about my finger? Does your finger hurt? Yeah. You need a healthier lifestyle. No. The only thing I need is some sticking plaster. I've cut my finger. Yo solo quería una tirita. Sticking plaster. Did you see? I was right. Eso no es magia negra. It's alternative medicine, a healthy lifestyle, uh, acupuncture... Isn't uh, that the same? No, it isn't, Gary. Will you please go on? Ahora os toca a vosotros hacer parte de mi papel. La farmacéutica os va a volver a hacer unas preguntas y vosotros tenéis que dar la respuesta adecuada, afirmativa o negativa. Eso lo veréis en un rótulo como este. ¿Listos? Do you smoke? Oh. <coughs> Uh, yes, I do. Have you tried aromatherapy? No, I haven't. Have you tried Chinese medicine? Hmm? Have you tried acupuncture? Oh, no, I haven't, and I don't want to. In this unit, we've spoken about health, salud, and everything useful for being healthy, such as... A healthy lifestyle, vitamins, relax... Or treatments to recover your health, such as Western medicine. Aromatherapy. Chinese medicine. Or acupuncture. So this is the end of today's program. And of module four. No, Gary. Todavía quedan dos programas, el de repaso y el de final del módulo 4. True. In the last program of module 4, we'll tell you about the exam. ¿Cómo y cuándo serán los exámenes? In order to pass the exam, don't forget to study a little. Every day. And to listen to as much English as you can. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>